Oi, this one is a weird game. This is Balls 3D. Um, <clears throat> this was created by Accolade, who are very well known for the Budsby series, which I'm not entirely sure I think that you should be known well for. Um, this this is a game I remember playing on the Mega Drive. I remember it being quite terrible on the Mega Drive. That's probably not the most appropriate name. Uh, Kronk, sure. So we got a jump. We got a kick and we got a punch. Now what's weird about this game is that it, uh, as you can see, doesn't just have a 2D plain view. It actually uses a kind of 3D space. Which, I mean, I'm not, like, completely up on my my fighting game knowledge, but I'd imagine that's a pretty novel thing for games of this uh, era, certainly for the Mega Drive as well. Because um, I remember it more being, um, like, Virtua Fighter, I think, was the first game I remember that really tried to incorporate a 3D space, uh, I think. I know that incorporated the kind of ring-out uh, sequence. But at this time, you know, the games I remember playing were Street Fighter, uh, Mortal Kombat. Um, was there any other fighting games, really? Oh, Clay Fighters as well, which is terrible. Um, like, my, my real kind of entry, proper entry into uh, fighting games came with Tekken. Which was, you know, a series that was fought on a 2D plane, but as the game evolved, would give you uh, the ability to kind of move a little bit more into the foreground and background. Um, but, you know, that was not until years after what this game here is doing. So I have to give, I have to give Accolades some credit for, for what they've done, but, you know, it's, fighting games one of those things where it, there's a very thin line between a fighting game being responsive and being what you want it to do and just being a game where you just mash buttons and hope for the best. Um, now for me, like Smash, the Smash series falls into that uh, territory unforgivably. Um, I've just, I've never, I've never enjoyed the Smash series because it's always felt like that to me. And I may be uh, inc incorrect on my, my theory. But yeah, I've never never been able to enjoy uh, Smash. Uh, but you know, this has got a couple of cool features. It's got an instant replay. It's just it's just weird. I mean, I don't know if there's any way to block. Um, it's just you know, it's just one of those games where you're just trying to hit your buttons as as quickly as possible and hope for the best. Uh, the Backgrounds, I don't know how to describe the backgrounds. Um, you know, the fighting environment you fight on is pretty plain, but I mean, for what this game is trying to do as a kind of 3D environment, it's pretty impressive. Um, the soundtrack is just schizophrenic, is about the only way I can describe it. It's not very good. I do enjoy the uh, the text that appears on the big screen in the background, that's enjoyable. It's, yeah, it's like, it's not, not terrible by any means, but it's, it's still a bit of a mess. It's just, it's just incoherent, really. I think it's the best way to describe balls. Um, you know, it's trying to work on the, the only gimmick that it's got. Uh, and the gimmick is, I feel, a bit of a one-trick pony. But I have played far worse than Mega Drive. I'll say that much. I also have no idea why I'm now... Uh, I think this is Tsunami. I don't know what's going on. But there is a bit of a difference, I can tell here, like, straight away. Um, he... Tsunami, like, handles a little bit differently. He's a little bit heavier. Um, yeah, so that's Balls.
if you want to play a fighting game on the Mega Drive, I'd probably suggest Mortal Kombat. I'm sure there's another game out there as well, but serves the role better. <sighs> but if all else fails, I guess give balls a shot, maybe. I don't know. What a weird game. Until next time.